We're back in the black, guys. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, have a drink. And today, service has well and truly resumed. Um, yeah, so after basically arsing around for the better part of the entire year so far, I'm finally getting back on board with a beer review. Um, this is from Manual Brewing Company. They came on the scene a few months ago. Um, if they came on the scene sooner than that, then I didn't know about it. And they are based in Dundee which is in Scotland, don't you know? And this is normally the bit where I would like to tell you a bit about the brewery, but having checked out their website, they don't have anything to say about themselves. Um, I don't know if that's a recent update, but my understanding is they like to keep humans in the loop. That's why they're called manual, because they like to do as much of it by hand as they can and keep the mechanical side to it to a minimum is my understanding of them. Um, the main thing, though, is if they have so little to say about themselves, then hopefully they let the beer do the talking. Um, this is one called Based on a True Story. True dat. And it's a chocolate wheat porter. Um, had a lot of porters in my time, had a lot of chocolate porters. Never had them cut with wheat before, so that's um, a new addition for me. I'm intrigued to see what the addition of wheat does to this. 6.2% uh, ABV, and it is a fucking big can, so... That's gonna be lovely, I'm sure. Also suitable for vegans. So that's grand. Uh, contains wheat. Well, duh. I'm gonna forego the usual commentary in saying that it's black. Bit of sort of like a malty rye bread kind of a thing. Tiny bit of chocolate, but not a great deal. I'm not expecting this to be massively sweet, I have to say. Um, if anything, I'm expecting it to be fairly dry, grainy, and bready. As long as it's not Guinness, I don't mind, to be honest. Ooh, quite licorice -y, actually. Yeah, there's like a, um acerbic bitterness to that. I'm a fan of licorice, so I don't mind that as a flavour. Yep, wasn't a million miles away. Um, it's like quite a bitter, fruity coffee. Not sweet at all. Uh, if you're looking for a cloying porter, this is most certainly not it. But, as a dry, bitter porter, it's lovely. Yeah, raisins, bitterness, biscuity, a um, little bit of a hop characteristic towards the end, with kind of like a, a vegetal hop, bitter, bittery hop, bitter hop. Hoppy bitterness, bitter hop. I realised I was just saying the same two words over and over again and I thought I'd have a bit of fun with it. Why not? Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, it's got sort of a, a thick mouthfeel to it. I don't know why I'm talking as if I've just been hit in the face with a shovel. I'm really struggling my words today. Yeah, when they say this is a chocolate porter, obviously one goes to things like, oh, it's going to taste like a dairy milk or something, and this isn't the case at all. Um, it's cacao nibs that they use in this, so obviously there's going to be much of a acidic bitterness to it, and it delivers on that. It encourages you to sip it, um, which is good because the strength of it itself is... Um, fairly high. Um, the aroma keeps developing as you drink it, which is a lovely little touch. Well done, manual. I don't know what the story behind the can art is, actually. There's probably something obvious that I'm missing with that. Maybe it's just a little too subtle for me. Oh, oh wait, no, hang about. Uh, illustration by Studio Halftone, at Studio Halftone. All right, cool. Um, we'll go look them up on Twitter at some point. Let me know... Talk to me. Um, what are your favourite dark beers? Do you know what? I'm not going to ask for likes anymore. I've decided that they're wearisome, and I don't really know what they do. Do what you want. Enjoy your life. Ask somebody out. Eat the wrong food. Go to the gym whenever you fancy. Ugh. Just fucking live your life, lads.